Hello and welcome back. This week I'm at home and I'm doing a job that uh, I wanted to do at home because it's really cold up at the caravan, which involves our toilet cassette. Uh, the last time we were out, uh, probably the time before that, I had noticed that when I was wheeling the toilet cassette to the Elson drop, that there was water coming out of the bottom of it. So um, what it needs is a new lip seal in there. So I've been to my local caravan dealer and bought the lip seal that you can see here. It was £15. You can get them cheaper on the internet, but with postage and packaging, it was around about the same price and I just wanted to go up there anyway. There are two seals on sale. One is for vans manufactured after the 15th of the 6th, 2000. And there's one for vans or cassettes that were manufactured before that time. The seal comes with full instructions on how to do the job, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now the tools that you're going to need for this are just a Phillips screwdriver, uh, the seal itself, and I've got some gloves that I'm going to put on, obviously because I am going to be uh, putting my hands with inside the toilet. You do also need, it recommends some Thetford seal lubricant, um, but I'm going to use just some normal uh, olive oil from the seal when I put that on. The first part of the job is to open the blade, take this cover off and put it on from the other side. What you can see here on the uh, left hand side as I'm looking at it is there's a close and an open. I'll show you a close up at that. And what you've got to do is open this up. It's going to be quite stiff so you're pushing this, pushing on this section here to turn the whole aperture anti-clockwise. So once that's turned that should lift off. You can take this piece off. And this is the section that we want. The next thing we want to do with the blade closed is take this screw out here which moves the blade around. put that washer inside there then I don't lose that and then the blade should come out slide that sideways that's the blade out obviously that needs a good clean underneath you'll see that there are six screws you can access to take this section off. So we'll take those out and then this piece lifts off to reveal the lip seal. Now this will only go on one way as you can see there there is a location hole for that so that will only go on one way once you put it on and that reveals the seal. When you're doing this it's a good idea to look at which way the seal is facing then you know you can get it in the right direction. I'm also going to clean all these bits up as well. So I've now cleaned up all the different components and I'm going to put it back together. The seal, I have changed my gloves by the way, the seal uh, I've lubricated that with some oil, some normal olive oil and you, if you don't you can see the profile of the seal but the beveled edge goes down into the bottom of there like that. We put the locating cover back on it'll only go one way it's got this pin here that locates it onto this pin there so put that in place and then put the screws back in when we're putting the screws back in we're going to do it like you do a wheel we're going to do alternate corners starting this side and then working across to make sure we've got an even spread on the seal so the next thing to do is put the blade back on in place just with this one screw and we want to be mindful of not over tightening those, it only needs to be finger tight and then the arm comes across and then we just lift that over the top of the blade and that puts that back into position. So we put that back in place, just match the arrow up and then we turn it clockwise to lock it back into position again with this cover on the wrong way. So that's now back into place. I'm going to put this back on its normal way 
and as you know there are arrows there that match up to make sure that's in place and that's that seal replaced another tip which I actually found by watching somebody else's video is the pipe here if you turn it all the way round it does actually come off which makes it easier for cleaning as well that just pops back on like so and you just spin it back round the other way all finished new seal on hopefully we're not going to have any problems with that so there are lots of different things you can use for cleaning this out i did read up this week that somebody uses coke to clean it out somebody uses hot water and dishwasher tablets um, we're just going to use some uh, Thetford, there is a Thetford toilet cleaner that you can use, we're going to use that. Don't use bleach within the cassette because it does ruin the seals and it also has an effect on the plastic container itself. So another job done, quite a dirty job but somebody's got to do it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon, bye bye.